Hello Scorpio, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your messages from Spirit Reading and it will be for May 2021 for the sign of Scorpio. I've pre-shuffled the deck so let's um, let's pull your first card and see what we get Scorpio. So message for Scorpio please, angels, spirits, guides, message for our lovely Scorpios, thank you. So I'm going to pull the first card Scorpio, we have Tune Out Distractions tune out distractions is the first message okay message from spirit please angel spirits guides and remember these can just be messages okay but a very nice one i have to say i have oh my goodness i've got hello from heaven your loved ones in the spirit world want to connect with you as much as you want to connect with them. They know you've been thinking of them and they're sending you signs and symbols to show you how much they love you, to prove you to prove they're with you at this time. Isn't that lovely? And I've also got just ask. There are many ways, there are many here in the spirit world that can there are many here in the spirit world that can assist you at this time. We are made up of the divine source, your loved ones, friends, guides, angels and spirit helpers who are waiting to assist you. We are your spiritual team and all you have to do is ask for our help and guidance. Isn't that lovely? So beautiful messages there, Scorpio. Let's pull the next card. What do we have? Message for Scorpio, please. Angels, spirits, guides. Message for our lovely Scorpios. Thank you. We have number 26, love and light. Act with care. It's also, you might be being shown love and light there. And final message before we get into the tarot cards. Final message for Scorpio, please. What do we have for our lovely Scorpios? Thank you. Two cards there. We have Cow, give with unconditional love and grace, Archangels Raphael and Mary. Lovely energy there, Scorpio. And we also have Dia, trust in the support of the universe, Archangels Michael and Faith. I mean, there's a lot of divine energy here. Definitely an energy of being watched over. Uh, it just feels like you're being told to don't worry about what's going on over there or what that person is doing or you know how this situation is affecting you this is about just tune it all out because you are absolutely being guided here okay so i'm going to pull three cards starting with the message from spirit so what do we have for scorpio please angels spirits guides message for all of his scorpios for may 2021 what is the message from spirit please Okay, what is the message from Spirit, please, for Scorpio? Thank you. Card is out. We have the Five of Wands. That is the message from Spirit. Page of Pentacles. We have the Ten of Swords, Scorpio. Okay. I'm going to pull one more with this Ten of Swords. Yeah, Page of Wands. Okay, so Five of Wands. I mean, the Five of Wands symbolizes a number of things. I mean, Spirit is recognizing that whatever the situation is for you, it's been a struggle, you know? It, I mean, this can be about tension, conflict, but it can also be about competition. Um, and it can be about, you know, people wanting, you know, to be recognized more than the other person. You know, it, it can be about competition, um, one voice wanting to be heard over others, but everybody wanting that. And it's, it's one of those things that just, it, it feels some kind of intense competitive situation. 
where you can actually look at other people and what they're doing and not focus on your own path here. Because for some of you, it feels like it's to do with some kind of opportunity. Now, the Page of Pentacles can be a financial career opportunity, can be a message of that. Um, so it might well be that there's something that you're competing for here, Scorpio. Um, and there's, there's, a, there's a kind of feeling of, of quite strong competition. And the message is surrender, trust, don't let this conflicting energy, which can be disruptive and negative, affect your internal energy here. This is about tuning out distractions and just focusing on what you can bring to the party. And that is definitely this energy here because, you know, the, the Page of Pentacles can be to do with, um, like I said, it feels to do with career financial opportunity. Um, now, you know, for some of you, if it could also be to do with getting into a place. Um, for some of you to, it can sometimes be to do with skills development. So I sometimes see this uh, as, as it can be a learning facility or a, a school or a college or a university. I mean, call it what you will. Um, there could be some fierce competition for that as well, Scorpio. Um, but it definitely feels in this energy. It feels like that's what you're competing for. It feels that's what you're competing for. There's, there's some kind of strong competition with regard to an opportunity. However, you know, the Ten of Swords, and sometimes there is an energy of fierce competition because people have experienced loss. People have experienced crisis. Um, people have experienced betrayal and it's been a really difficult journey. And the Ten of Swords can be a card of stabbed in the back, um, wounded, hurt, loss, crisis, call it what you will. But it's a 10, which is a completion, which means that it's not going to get any worse than this now. And there is a new day, a new dawn rising in the distance. I love the gold energy linking in with this card as well, um, which is very much to do with divine energy, divine energy pushing away the darkness because you're being told there's a new day, a new dawn rising in the distance, pushing away the darkness and bringing an end to what has been quite a painful situation. And we have the Page of Wands, which is, it feels in this situation, it's good news to do with an opportunity. So I'm definitely getting this energy of whatever you've been competing for, stay in your positive energy, love and light, act with care. You can so be drawn into this and sucked into this in backbiting, gossiping, um, negative commentary, you know, all of this kind of energy if you're not careful. And the message is no stay in your stay in your uh, energy, your the right vibration, tune out distractions and focus on your path. Because there is a lot of divine energy. Trust in the support of the universe. You are absolutely being guided. And there's definitely an energy of, of the period of hurt, pain, difficulty, loss, crisis is over. And some maybe some good news with regard to an opportunity coming your way. It feels really beautiful. This is also an energy of liberation. So it definitely feels that whatever this page represents is liberating you from this. Yeah, it's free spirit energy. So lovely message there, Scorpio. I'm going to pull a final message from heaven card. It is whatever heaven means to you. I just like the messages. Okay, so what do we have for Scorpio, please? Angels, spirits, guides. Yeah, what did I say? We have go out and plant new life seeds. So for your future, number 23. Feel for some of you, you'll have the opportunity to do that in May. Feels very hopeful. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.